Hello, the book I have for you today is called Lily Brown's Paintings. It is by Angela Johnson and the pictures are by E.B. Lewis. I wonder if that's Lily Brown. Do you like to paint? Have you ever painted before? Oh, that's a nice painting. Lily Brown loves her mama, daddy, and baby brother and the world they live in. Sometimes she spins around her room thinking about their world and it's wondrous. Do you ever feel just so happy you could jump around and spin? That's a great feeling. But when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. What do you think happens? The sunlight turns to stars and Lily begins flying around them. All the universe is one big colorful splash. The stars circle the planets in Lily Brown's paintings. So when she paints, she starts to use her imagination. Can you really fly like that in outer space? No, but in her painting she can. And sometimes the stars come down to earth to hang around sidewalk cafes and shine when the sun goes down. You can paint anything you want. It doesn't have to be real. When Lily Brown paints the trees that she walks past on her way to school, wear hats and drink tea on cool days with other trees and shrubbery. They all know Lily and they bow to her. Look, she paints trees that she sees every day in school on the way to school, but then she gives them hats and glasses and tea. When Lily Brown paints fruit at the corner market, it is striped and polka dotted. It speaks to people, then laughs out loud. When people put the fruit in bags to take home, the apples sing all the way there. So she looks, she drew the fruit, but she kind of made it different. In Lily Brown's paintings, the path to the park becomes a wild animal living room with antelopes lounging and alligators on the phone. Lily always remembers to draw them. You can see an alligator talk on the phone. In Lily Brown's paintings, softly blowing rose-colored winds bring voices from across the ocean to tell stories that she has never heard. Then she listens and paints with blues and orange to let the wind know that she has heard the story. So she listens and looks at the world around her and then paints. Sometimes Lily herself walks around in her paintings or sails away through fields of red corn and purple painted skyscrapers. In Lily Brown's paintings, the colors of people, places, and things change with her heart. People walk upside down, and the buildings on streets dance, and airplanes fly above, and it's like a whole nother world. That's such a great thing about being an artist. You can make things look like they are in real life, or you can make them very different. It's up to you. Lily paints all that she sees and feels her own way. She puts her world of color and light on anything she can find. It's magical. But at the end of the day, when Lily Brown is about to put her paints away, she remembers her mama's smile, her daddy's eyes, and the way her baby brother holds her hand before he goes to sleep. Do you think that's a real life picture of her family? It's their world again, and it's wondrous. 
So even though Lily Brown likes painting all the different things that don't really happen in the world, she also likes to paint her family. I hope you like that story. Painting or drawing or coloring is a great way for your imagination to grow and for you to Sometimes when you paint or draw or color, it helps you let your feelings out in a good way. I hope you liked that story. I'll read to you later.